guys. Hey guys. We're at Engelbrecht Cave. Yeah. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> anyway, um, the fascinating thing about here is that this spot here, the divers come, cave divers, and they actually dive up to 10 kilometers underneath the city of Mount Gambia. That's incredible. I like, know, it's unbelievable just, that we're scary. been driving around all these caverns and caves and you know that there's all water underneath the city anyway we're going to go and check out where they start their journey and get learn a little bit of history about how they found all these underground caverns and rivers and <laughs> stuff in Mount Gambia. Still got me buggered how they do it you know <laughs> 10 kilometers worth of caves all underwater. Anyway come let's, and check it out with us. Let's go check it out. So this cave entrance is in right in the middle of Mount Gambia basically. There it is down there and uh, was first purchased in 1850 and then used as a dump point basically. They chucked dead animals and stuff down here for quite a number of years until the council bought it in 1915 and then uh, they didn't use it either. They thought it wasn't of any tourist value or anything and uh, really wasn't sort of until the 60s and 70s and 80s that it started to get used, cleaned up and used as a tourist um, Mecca now I guess and especially for cave divers so anyway that's kind of a little bit of its history so about in the 30s or so was when Coca-Cola got really big and they started competing with local soft drinks the soft drinks couldn't compete very well because it didn't have the magical cocaine ingredients <laughs> and they really went bust. So they sold themselves out to the heart factory in Tasmania, which... Finished the Engelbrecht Cave. Yep, tour. dry cave, pretty good, very interesting Lots history, of history and stuff. And yeah. yeah, worth seeing as a different type of cave formation. So come along and yeah, check it out if you're in the area, Mount Gambia. So we are going down there. We'll go check it out. That looks like a deep hole. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a scooter down there. Look at this big cave. You can get down through there. So apparently it was used as a drainage system back in the 1800s. And then they developed it, what, 1990s. Finally redeveloped, redeveloped it into a nice garden instead of a, oh, here we go, padlock city. Oh. <laughs> I didn't bring a padlock. Huh. <laughs> That's quite deep. Someone's scooter down there. Came about all the rubbish, shopping trolleys and whatnot, but it is right in the middle of the city, I suppose. Uh, more wasps over there, the wasps love them. Well, we're on the Mount Shank walking trail. Mount Shank. Is a extinct volcano. We're going to head up here and uh, take a look. Uh, 
Alright, so there's the crater down behind me, so the extinct volcano or cool there. That's behind me. And then uh, there's a crater walk as well that you can do around the rim. And there's all the farmland views, the coast is just down there on the other side, looking out. Interpretive center. That's pretty cool. Look at that. This is the floor. So we're walking over the fossils. Once numerous and powerful tribe of southeastern natives has sadly withered away because of life's fear of the first sight of Europeans. About the year 1822. Because it hadn't been discovered yet, these borders here had yet to be. <laughs> what happened? What is that? Uh, it's a sinkhole with gardens in it. <laughs> okay, we'll go and check that out. There's a little bit of logging history over here. Um, behind us there's a old um, logging truck that they've done up that they used to use in the old days. Housed in this building over here, so we'll go check that out. And we've got a big um, sawmill right near next to us here as well with all the timber and stuff. Mm. With we're currently doing <laughs> doing lunch hard. We're actually eating out of the back of the car, <laughs> and we're having saladas with dip and a cup of coffee.
Alright guys, that's about the end of Mount Gambier for us. We're going to be moving along um, up the coast a bit more now and checking things out up there, up the Murray River and stuff. Anyway guys, if you're liking our videos, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like and hit the notification bell so you know when our next video is up. See you on the track. See ya.